You find success and failure on the same road. Failure is just an earlier exit. I saw that by investor Alex Hermosi the other day, and it just resonated on such a deep level because you can't turn off the road. When you're committed to a goal, don't give up. There are more obstacles than you can ever imagine when you get started. Expect it. And if it's something important, it's going to be challenging and it's worth it. And I say this on the day that our Saladworks restaurant is finally open. It's taken too long and arduous years of challenges we could have never foreseen. Hurdle after hurdle after hurdle, and we're finally open for a business. But the challenge is just beginning. Now we have to operate the business. And I want to share a few thoughts for you for what it's worth today on the next Simple Step Podcast. I'm Paul Goldsmith. You can't force it. That's the biggest thing I've learned over these last two years since I had the vision to open a salad restaurant in our hometown of Spring Hill, Tennessee. Really thought it was going to happen within a matter of months, and then it was going to be a year, and then a little bit longer, which actually drew out to be two years. And it's been a learning process along the way that you just can't force things to happen on your own time schedule, especially big things and things out of your control. And so then what do you do? You can give up or you can really try to white knuckle it. But then what happens when that doesn't work? And I'm reading this book right now that has been super insightful to me. It's called Power Versus Force, The Hidden Determinants of Human Behavior by David Hawkins, and it's pretty heady, but I'll give you kind of the summary. The idea using force in your life uh, to accomplish big things versus power. Force is violent, it's coercive, negative, and destructive, unsustainable, you know, brute force. You can't do that for long periods of time. It doesn't end well. On the other hand, power is authentic and it's positive and arises from, frankly, a higher state of consciousness. Man, everything in me just wants to force things to happen, but it just doesn't work. Certainly not for the long term. My power as a human being to connect with other human beings and as a Christian, the power of connecting with the Holy Spirit on a daily basis, not trying to do things with my own brute force, but with the spirit that's within me in truth and with integrity and higher principles like love and wisdom. First of all, it feels a lot better, it's authentic, and it represents genuine strength. We can't do this thing called life or business alone. It takes a community and working together. And my wife, Marianne, and I have uh, been a team on this. We've done our best to act in integrity, and we formed some great relationships with our contractor who went above and beyond to help us get the building finalized where our cellar works is located because the landlord just quit constructing the building. And so our contractor uh, stepped up and, and finished it for us so we could open as a result of us working with integrity rather than trying to force things to happen. In the same way, think about in the workplace, the difference between a manager and a leader. Of course, a manager is a position and you're trying to force people to do things, whereas a leader is casting vision and they're leading the way. They're inspiring change and they're investing in the people. And that doesn't come with a title. Uh, That's an ability that you can hone. So I just want to encourage you, if you've been struggling in your workplace or as an entrepreneur, maybe you need to loosen your grip and not try to force it to happen, but step back and get some perspective about how you can reassert your power and influence and work with others to accomplish what it is you're trying to achieve. Following the pandemic, we heard of this term called quiet quitting, and I think that was a result of too many people feeling like they were forced into a job or certain workplace settings and realized they don't have to do that. And I don't think that's coming back anytime soon. You and I have the immense blessing that we get a choice in this life, whether we're going to assert our power or we're going to just be a victim and do what we're told. I'd encourage you to really take stock of what it is you want to do and where you want to be in three years and what it's going to take to get there 
And uh, that takes a lot of self-awareness and emotional intelligence, which is why I'm a big proponent of the PRINT survey. It stands for Motivational Imprint, and I offer that to coaching clients because it really helps you understand the underlying motivations of how you show up in the world and also what your maybe shadow behaviors are when you get triggered. And I think the more people that are self-aware of that and you're aware of your colleagues and clients, if you're aware of their underlying motivations and their shadow behavior, you can learn how to better navigate those relationships. I'm not saying this is some expert. I'm saying this as a late bloomer, somebody that just is still figuring this life out about how to work with others. I'm a recovering rugged individualist. And so if you're anything like me, take heart that this is figure outable and you can work well with others and you're going to get a lot further when you figure that out. The road to success and failure is the same road. Failure is just an earlier exit. You're playing an infinite game. And so if you've been discouraged, you've had too many setbacks to count, really take stock of if it's worth it, get back up, ask for help. And if I can be a resource to you, a sounding board, if you'd like to take the print survey to gain some more emotional intelligence, you can reach out for a complimentary call at nextsimplestep.com or send me a message on X or Instagram. I'm Paul J. Goldsmith. Thank you for listening. And the next time you're in the Spring Hill, Tennessee area, stop by Salad and I'd love to serve you a salad. I'll talk to you next time on the Next Simple Step Podcast.